day today and we're going to go to the beach. Here's the beach. It's a beautiful specimen tree and what's going on here is it's getting too much over into the driveway over there and the other thing is we have this really really beautiful trunk in here that we want to see and this is being covered up by it. So we're raising up this and that's called crown lifting it's also called skirting so we're going to take all this foliage off now beach is relatively easy to prune we've got these very strong alternating branches here and it's very very easy to prune so we've just picked which direction you want to go if we're going to prune if we're going to prune this way then this bud is going to go off in this direction. If we prune the other way, it'll go in that direction. The one thing about the beach that's a little tricky is that the branches are quite brittle. So if you really try to get at something and you lift it up too much, you can end up breaking it. And then you're going to have to prune back in further. So this one here, you can see it's kind of way out from the rest of the plants and we're going to work our way back into it we want to find another direction for this to go so we have some branches here we've got some branches here and we can even go further back in so let's try this and see what it looks like we're going to angle this cut here and you can see this brought this back nicely in over here we have the same thing we have another branch that's too far out if we lifted this up too much, we could end up breaking it. So we have to look in here, and we see this branch that's coming up right through here. Well, that's no good, because we don't want this to, if we cut this here, then this branch shoots right out again. So we're going to try to see what this is going to look like. We're going to prune this at this angle here, and it's still too far in. So then, now we see one that comes back here. This is the, how you think this through. And we can cut that, and now we have a good result. You can see it's all flush with the rest of this. So I'm going to work on this for quite a while. It's going to take me, uh, I think, about half a day. And then uh, we'll show you what that looks like. So before I get too much further along, I want to show you a couple things. I've started my line here. And it's starting to shape up very well. And I don't like to cut straight across. I like to give it some movement in here. And I think those um, trees that they prune that just flat, exactly flat, uh, I don't like the way that looks. Uh, but I want to show you some things inside here. What I just love coming into this tree. This is one of my favorite things to do. And uh, you can see that to get this line, we, this will probably be our limit right in here. And so, working on the inside, and it's a hot, if it, if it was a hot day, uh, you'd be working in the shade, we can start to get our line in here. Also, we have some dead wood in here. Uh, and it's important to get this dead wood out because you get some air circulation going in here. And we have this branch that's dead here. So, uh, because they're brittle, uh, I don't want to hurt this area in here where we have where we're going to be cutting. So I'm going to make a little, this is our three sequence cut. You can see this in our one of our other videos. And you can see how brittle this is. So if we if it had broken back in here, uh, it wouldn't be a good result. So we'll cut somewhere in here. And I don't want to take this all the way back because uh, it's too big of an area. But if we did cut this, it would be in through here and in through here and not all the way back and into there. So these are some of the kinds of things that you want to be looking for when you're inside here. So we're all done for now. Um, we have a few errant growth near the top. We'll use a pole pruner for that. Um, 
and we've got this nice line going here. As I said, it's not straight across. And we've got this back from the driveway over here. And you can see the result that pulled back in. And we have this nice flow to the underside. And now we can see that beautiful, beautiful trunk on the inside. Now I want to explain um, the process here that we're making what's called thinning cut. Now thinning cut, you'll check this out um, with the one for these terms on our uh, pruning for beginners video. But basically what we're doing is you can see that the pruning is nearly invisible. You can't see the cuts. So when we're making thinning cuts, that's a really good uh, way to prune um, this because you're not seeing any kind of cuts at all. So we're coming on the inside, we're thinning out this branch like this. And then as I showed you earlier, these kind of cuts will here will guide the growth in direction that you want to go. The uh, last thing I want to show you uh, is using saw work, what happens? Now on a beach, this here, where we cut limbs, is on the bark branch collar. And this protrudes quite a bit from the tree. You'll see this junction here with the swelling. This is a cut that I made many, many years ago, and it's starting to close in. And if you do this properly, you'll get this healing cut. So you can't go flush on these. Here's one that's completely uh, closed up in here. So we cut at the swollen junction here, and that's in our beginner's um, pruning video. So check that out. So that's how to get a good result on a beach, especially uh, a pendulous beach like this, or weeping beach. So thank you for watching Bob's Garden. Please subscribe, share, and comment on our videos, and we'll see you next time. And remember, be curious, not judgmental.